Okay, right. it's bar time. Um, so yeah, for this workout, you'll just need your mat. Um, and that's it. Like I said, if you can, if you want to add weights that you might have uh, at home, anytime we're doing something, you can always like throw a curl in there. If you have lighter weights, like the ones or the twos or the threes, uh, we're going to be doing some standing abs and stuff. You can do the same arm, arm movements with those lighter weights. Uh, so if you have like small cans of tomato soup or whatever, um, or, or like I said, the lighter dumbbells, the twos, the threes. I don't know what the song is, but yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll stick with it for a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're going to start uh, with our walkout. So starting at the back end of your mat, I'm going to just move my, uh, they have this little like kid set table thing. I'm just going to move it. Uh, okay, so you're going to start at the back end of your mat, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, fold forward, stretch out those hamstrings, bend those knees as much as you need to, and then walk yourself out into your plank. First plank of the workout. Pushing into those hands, pushing the floor away, pushing those ribs up, and then squeezing those glutes. And then bend your knees, push your hips high, and walk yourself back to your feet, and roll on up the spine. And do that again. Reach it up to the ceiling, fold all the way forward, bend those knees as much as you need to to touch the floor, walk out into that plank. Again here, try not to sink into these planks, right? I'm really actively pushing the floor away. I'm gonna take my right foot and place it by my right hand. If you need to like, you know, use your hand to get your foot up a little bit higher, do so because you wanna be able to dig into that front heel. And you can be slightly off the mat or right on the edge of the mat, that's okay. And we're just gonna rock forward and back. Opening up those hips, pushing into that left hip flexor, bend that knee, reach those arms up to the ceiling, and left hand on the outside of your right leg, give yourself a little twist. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, fold forward, lift that back knee up. Replace that right foot, bend those knees, push those hips back, and walk your hands back to your feet. And roll on up the spine, reach up towards the ceiling, fold forward, walk those hands forward, find that plank again. Left foot by your left hand, and just push forward and back, oscillating those hips. Be gentle. Put that right knee down. Reach those arms up to the ceiling. And twist the other way. Right hand to the outside of your left knee. Twist back. Inhale, reach those arms up. And put those hands down. Lift that right knee. Replace that left foot and push those hips. Find your downward facing dog. Just stay here and walk the heels out a little bit. And just try reaching those heels up to the ceiling on your tippy toes and then pushing those heels down to the mat. Lift those heels up to the ceiling and push those heels down to the mat. Bend your knees as much as you like to. It's more about the ankles and the toes and the feet and less about the rest of the body. Try not to hold tension in the head and neck. Walk them out a little bit and walk those hands back to your feet. Roll on up, we're gonna do that all one more time. Reach up to the ceiling and fold forward. 
Walking those hands out into your plank. Right hand, right foot by your right hand. Sit into those hips and push forward and back. You can also try turning that front leg, in this case your right, turning that leg out, turning those toes out and those knees out. See how, how that feels. Bring it back to parallel, drop that back knee, reach those arms up to the ceiling. And left hand to the outside of your right leg. Reach behind you. Inhale, arms up, challenge time here. Try to lift that back knee up and put that back knee back down. Lift that back knee up, it's the left knee, and put that left knee down. Lift it up and put it down one more. Lift it up and put it back down. Put those hands on the mat. Lift that back knee up, replace that right foot and push those hips back. Walk your hands to meet your feet. Roll on up last time. Reach up to the ceiling and fold yourself forward. Walk out into that plank. Left foot by your left hand and push it forward and back. Again, see what it feels like to turn that front leg out to the diagonal. You can use your hand to kind of guide your knee. Just feel the difference. Neither one is better or worse than the other. It just depends on your body, what, right? What your body needs. Turn that uh, leg back to point towards the front. Drop that back knee. Raise those arms up. And twist. Right hand on the outside of that left leg. Reach those arms up, challenge time here. Lift that back knee up and drop that back knee down. And lift it up and drop it down. Like you have a string on your hamstring that pulls it up and lowers it down. Last time, pulls it up and lowers it down. Replace your hands on the mat. Lift that back knee up, replace the left leg and just push back into your downward facing dog. Walk those heels out a little bit. And again, both heels come up and both heels go down. Both heels come up, both heels go down. Two more, both heels come up, both go down, both come up, both come down and drop your knees, child's pose. Nice work. You should feel pretty warm after that. Grab some water. Hopefully I don't forget this when we're done. This is on my sister's bookcase. <laughs> she won't mind. All right. Whew. So you should be pretty warm after that, folk. Um, we're going to move in to our standing section. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my... My feet are burnt. Anyway, so, um, so here we're going to start in our nice wide plie squat stance. Feet are wider than shoulders. Toes are pointed outward about 30 degrees or so. Again, it kind of depends on your hips, right, where your knees kind of comfortably want to go. I say kind of comfortably because like is it really comfortable? <laughs> but it's less uncomfortable than when your knees are falling in, right? That's kind of painful, right? We want to be in that slightly uncomfortable, but it's good for us zone. Oh, the rain started outside. All right, reach your arms up and we're going to plie and stretch. Sitting into those heels, knees go over those toes. Sit and stretch, move those arms. Sit and stretch, sit and stretch, sit and stretch. Let's go a little faster. We go eight and seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come together. So I'm gonna sit, bring my right foot in. Sit, right foot in. Sit, right foot in. Sit, right foot in. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. To the left we go. Sit, left foot in. Sit, left foot in. Sit, left foot in. Sit, left foot in. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Come back to that uh, plie squat. Reach your arms out. Pulse it up. Halfway up, halfway down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit down in like a medium zone, right? This is like fire zone. You wanna be in the medium zone. This is relaxed, right? Medium zone, right? Reach those arms out. I'm gonna bring my right arm over and back. Two, really stretch those obliques on the right side. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side, we go. One, two, stay in that medium zone, or if you want, go a little bit lower. Six, seven, eight. Pulse it out, we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze those glutes, push through those heels. Two, one, hold. Reach those arms, up, out, up, out. Six, seven, and eight. Reach those arms up. Look, um, lean it over. One, two, three, four. Those legs should be burning by now. Five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it up. Woo. Toe ball those heels in so they're hip distance apart. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Inhale here and exhale, sit and stretch. Inhale, sit, exhale, stretch. Six, seven, eight, hold down, pulse it up, eight, seven, it's all in those glutes, six, five, and the hamstrings a little bit, three, two, one, sit down, stand up, beautiful guys, beautiful, we're almost there, back into that plie squat, here we go, nice and slow, sit and lift. Let's bring those arms forward and open. Forward and open. While we're going slow, see if you can sit a little deeper. Last one. Now come here, lift one heel up, put it down. Lift the heel, put it down. Heel, one heel at a time. Five, six, seven, eight. That first heel comes up, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other heel goes eight, seven, six, five, four, 
four, three, two, one, put it down, stand up, take a second. Woo! Lovely, guys. Okay. We're going to do some standing abs now. Um, I kind of like these, and then sometimes I don't. <laughs> so, you find that little, like, you know, pizza pie in your feet, right? First position. Again, a comfortable turnout for you. Then we're going to put our weight on our left leg. If you're mirroring me, you can mirror me. That's fine, too. And bring your... Uh, other leg out. So here we're going to start with our laterals. You can place that one arm on your hip and that same arm up overhead. So turn out this leg so that your knee and toe points up to the ceiling, not forward. We're pointing up to the ceiling. And here we go. Drive that elbow knee in, tap. Two, three. Really use those obliques. Don't just use those hip flexors. Obviously, they're working because your hip is flexing, but we want to also not get in the habit of only using those hip flexors and forgetting about our obliques. Pick it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, turn that leg so it faces front. Keep this leg bent, the standing leg bent, out to the side. Straight, down, straight, down. If you do have those, you know, one, two, or three pound dumbbells, you could be holding the dumbbell in your hands. That's an option, I don't have those, so I'm going without. But even going without, I'm thinking of really pushing against the air, right? Engaging my muscles even though there's not a way to engage. Six, seven, eight. Now, wherever your toe is pointing, point your hips. Reach that arm forward. Now we're going parallel in. Draw the knee in, push it out. In, out. Reach. It's that so as. A little bit of that transverse abdominis and rectus abdominis as well. It's your core, man. It's your core. Pick it up. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both knees. Roll up through that spine. Other side. So, find your pizza. I wish we all had pizza right now. Actually, it's Tuesday, so I got Taco Tuesdays coming. <laughs> All right, so stand, uh, bent standing leg. That other leg is straight and turned out. So the knee and toe point up to the ceiling. Here we go, elbow knee. Well, eight. In. I always kind of forget and I try to straighten my leg but it's gonna be better if you bend that standing leg a little bit. I can access my core just a little bit better. Two more. Pick it up, we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, turn that leg parallel. So your knee and toe point towards whatever is in front of you. <laughs> Mine are pointing towards you, right? So here we go. Straight leg. Lift. Now if you have tight hips, you really got to put your brain into your obliques. Because the tighter your hips, the more you're going to try to use them to try and protect them. It's a natural response of the body. That's the trauma response, right? Especially if you've had an injury to those hips. Your brain is going to work so much harder than it needs to 
even though the trauma is gone or seemingly gone to try and protect that. So you've got to work hard to trust your body, to trust your obliques, to trust your glutes. One more. Now, wherever those, wherever those toes are pointing, turn your hips to that direction. Keep that leg bent, reach it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's pick it up, we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plie, roll up through the spine. Lovely guys, take a little break. Whew. Almost there. That's why one of my favorite sayings is, the issues are in the tissues, right? Your body has a memory response that arguably is better, better than your cognitive memory. So don't underestimate that. Okay, find your plank. <laughs> Everyone's favorite words. <laughs> right? No? Okay. Well, you know, when you're tired and you don't want to do a plank, and Kim is telling you to do a plank, I am telling you to do a plank. I don't know why I just spoke in the third person. Anyone is telling you to do a plank. Just say thanks, body, for that information. But we're going to do it anyway. So, uh, go on your high plank if you can, um, but it'll still work on your forearms if you need to. Put some weight into those fingertips, hands right underneath those shoulders, push the floor away. Don't sink into those shoulders, protract those shoulders. My favorite example of this is giving someone a hug, like, and not just like a you know, tap on the back kind of hug, but like <laughs> the person that you want to see after COVID is done and that's the kind of hug, right? How your shoulders have to expand, your ribs come in in order to give that hug. That's exactly what you're doing here. So essentially a plank is a hug. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> not at all. Put one foot back, put the other foot back, push up into that plank. <laughs> <laughs> Your plank is a hug. I need a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> plank like you hug. Tap those toes out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. One. Side plank. I'm up here in level two, but you can always drop that bottom uh, knee to be in level one. This foot can be down or up, it doesn't matter. Back into that plank. Here we go. Now we're going to drive the knees out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Other side plank. Again, if you need to, you can drop that bottom knee. That's always an option. Back into that high plank, downward dog for a second. Find that plank, drop your knees and butt if you need to. We got eight push-ups. here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Child's pose, take a breather. 
Get the sweat out of your eyes. See, I told you it was cooler down here than it is in my apartment. I am still sweating. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Find that plank. Hug. And then your legs go back. <laughs> Knee to same elbow. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Side plank. Ugh. Find that plank. Last one. Knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. One. Side plank. Oh. High plank, downward dog. Okay. Last plank. Drop those knees and butt if you need to. Eight more push ups. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. Almost there, guys. Okay, flip it over. Onto your back. All right. Hands behind your head. Feet flat. Inhale here. Exhale, lift. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Right elbow, or sorry, cross that left heel over your right knee. Extend your left arm. Right elbow to left knee. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring that left knee in. Bring that right elbow in, and then extend them both out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg extended. Extend that right arm up. Keep your arm and leg straight. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now, left foot down, keep that right arm up, bring the right knee in. Now, bridge those hips. Eight, seven, six. Still that left hamstring, and that right side core. Three, two, hold up one, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, switch sides. Both feet down to start, hands behind your head. 
go straight up. Eight, seven, six. Always do the exhale on the lift. Three, two, one. Right hand down, right ankle over left knee, left elbow to right knee. Goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw that knee in. We go elbow knee, reach it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that right leg straight. Straighten out that left arm. Keep the arm and leg straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put that right foot down. Lift that left leg up. Keep the left hand up. So it's left side obliques to right side hamstring. Push those hips up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold up, eight, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, butterfly those knees, hands behind your head, inhale here, exhale lift, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, hold up, eight, knee, or sorry, elbow to same knee, side, two side, side, two side, side, two side, side, two side, we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold center, reach the right arm forward, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay, Reach the right arm across your body to the diagonal. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. Switch sides. Left arm center. We go. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross it over to the diagonal. It should point in the same direction as that knee is pointing. Pulse it to the diagonal. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Straighten those legs out. Lower the upper body and we lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side to side, side to side. Try to keep breathing. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that head. Whew. Arms up to the ceiling. Big inhale here. Exhale, roll all the way up. And come up to your feet. One last thing, guys, one last thing. Whew. Lovely. Feel those hips? So, feet are about as wide as your mat. And 
and toes point generally forward. They can have a little degree of turnout, but not as much as our uh, plie squat or sumo squat, whatever you want to call it. So here we got our normal squat. So we're going to sit down, stand up, sit, and up. We need a faster song. There we go. Two, one. Now we're going to add on. I'm going to sit. I'm going to lower my right knee. I'm going to lift up just what we did in our warm up. Lift that back knee up all the way. Lower down. Put my hands down. Replace my foot. Stand up. Squat. Left knee down. Raise those arms up, lift and straighten both legs, lower down, hands down, replace that foot, stand up. Now we're going to try to do it without putting our hands down. So I sit, right knee back, and I sit and up. Sit, left knee back. Left knee up and stand up. Do that again. Sit, right knee back, and replace the foot. Stand up. Sit, left knee back, and sit, and up. Two more times total each round. Right knee, sit, sit, left knee, one more time each side. Sit, right knee, sit, lift. Last time, sit, left knee, sit, and up. Now, just bring your right foot, I move my mat back a little bit. Bring your right foot really far back, but enough that you can put your foot down and fold forward, bend that front knee as much as you need to to touch the mat. And just hang over and stretch. You might need to move your uh, foot back a little bit to put that knee down. Sit into those hips. Lift up. In this runner's lunge, just check in with your hips. Did you extend those hips? Or are you able to keep that nice neutral spine and sit those hips? Even if you don't go as deep, it's, it's going to be a better stretch on that hip flexor. Keep that front foot where it is and just shift your hips back. I always like to keep a bend in this front leg because I think it gets a better hamstring stretch. Gets the stretch closer to the hip as opposed to just behind the knee. And switch. Right foot up. Come on up. Again, check in with your hips. And then sit down to wherever you can maintain that spine. Keep that front foot where it is. Push those hips back. Again, check in with yourself. Are you locking out that front knee? Or can you have a slight bend and then stick those hips up? Now, depending on your flexibility, 
Once you find the stretch closer to the hip, then you can gently work on straightening that knee little by little over time. But if I just like, can't really show it on the video, but if I just like hyperextend my knee, then I'm just feeling the stretch back here. Nothing's really happening here and I have to kind of tuck my pelvis under to maintain this position where if I bend the knee, I can tilt my butt up to the ceiling a little bit more. Then the stretch moves to like the belly or higher part of my hamstring. Then I can work on straightening my leg little by little. And last but not least, some child's pose. I like the knees wide, big toes together, and just walk on down. Walk those hands over to one edge of your mat. Feel that side stretch. And walk your hands over to the other side. Walk them back center, come up a little bit, but you can still be pretty wide in those um, knees. Stretch that left hand up to the ceiling and then thread the needle, place your shoulder on the mat. Get a nice twist in that upper body. And other side, reach that right arm up to the ceiling, thread the needle through. And come back, find your feet, hang over your legs. Again, about a fist width distance in between those feet. Drop your head, bend those knees, and slowly roll up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. When you get about halfway, push those knees over the center of your feet, push your hips over your knees, ribs over hips, shoulders over ribs, head over everything. First Wisconsin bar. Thank you, guys.